Hola. Heyo. Hi. And we're back, friends of the Friction Labs variety. We're here. Outdoor retail 2019 summer show. Doing it. Drew Mac Attack, everybody. P you know who it is. P <laughs> drizzle. Drizzle. <laughs> Nizzle. It's Drew Mac, everybody. It's Drew Mac. Oh, look at the hearts are already flying in. Hearts, heart throb. Uh, <laughs> Drew, what's your tag? What's your social tag? At DRU. At DRU. M A C K. Drew Mac. Five. Is that really your last name? Yeah, that's Just really my Mac? last name. Yeah. How dope is that? Yeah. Yeah. So southern. Mac Hey, take your shirts off. You got it, girl. Return hey, of Mac. Uh, Drew Mac Five. Yep. We got a shout out from Argentina already flying in. What's up? Make sure to follow Drew Mac. Yep. That's me. All right. So Drew is a Friction Labs pro. Hey, -o. Hi. <laughs> He's from the south. Yeah. He's a Red River loke. Yeah. And Kentucky. Again, shouts to Argentina, Kentucky bro, Drew Mack. <laughs> Looks like we're already getting some comments rolling in, so real quick, feel free everyone who's jo uh, shouts from Cali. What up, Cali? Uh, as Drew and I get caught up here, feel free to throw in some uh, questions on the comments. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's I just like get Skittles. into it. I don't know why <laughs> I said that. Drew's favorite candy, oh, Skittles. Where's Starburst? What Where's kind Starburst? of Starburst? What color is Starburst? Me? Yeah, what's um, your pinky for sure. Pink's for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's like the only Come on. color that's Come good. on, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was the last thing you did? Last route? The last did route. Red. I did Lucifer this spring. Yeah, psyched. That's the devil. Yeah, Pun I, re intended, I remember you know? filming Nick Duddle on it and like real crimpy. Mike. It's, uh, Mike correct about that small holds yeah a lot of like pockets like uh you take like back three on a lot of holds like, two finger pockets uh it's amazing it's like one of the like, best routes i've ever done are you a pocket guy i'm you not like the, i don't like pockets oh, okay no i'd rather have just like you know just left right, the left, right, left right left right crimp 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 rest rest shake out fire yeah. Fire the rest. Yeah. Nice work on, yeah. on the rigs, dude. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was like, was so an incredible route. It seems like recently you've been kind of working your way up the uh, food chain, so to speak. Yeah. I remember last year, first trade show. Yeah. A little bit of a lost puppy. Yeah, just running around. Got a little sweaty when I introduced you to Tommy Caldwell. <laughs> I told that story to somebody yesterday. Your glasses fogged up. Yeah, I was so embarrassed. But uh, you also introduced me to Tommy Caldwell as world-renowned sport climber. I mean, Drew Mac, which is yeah. like oxymoronic or whatever that word. Is. Like, I don't know if you if that was a real. That wasn't. It was, you got to come correct, bro. Here at the trade show, you gotta uh, you come correct. I learned very quick with you guys that you gotta, you gotta. It's not about spray necessarily. You it's gotta leave about, your ego at the door because Paul you go. will beat I'll it get up. You. I'll, yeah, he will. I'll get you, bro. What? You got me yesterday, Dude. bro. Wow, what a guy. Daniel. He just got delivered. Gaida, Gaida, oh in the house. Thanks, guy. Uh, this anyways. guy took incredible photos of me. Yeah. Real Incredible. good shit. Yep. Real good shit. Yep. Thanks, Dan. Follow Gaida Photography on Instagram. I probably misspelled it yesterday. No, you got it wrong. All right. Anyways, let's get into some questions yep. with Drew Mac Attack. First one is kind of a strange one, but let's get it. Uh, from Bruno <laughs> Lender Climbing. What do you think about Sean McCall? Um, Sean, Sean's a nice guy. I've met him like a couple times. Canadian, he's got to be nice. Crazy. He's really good at playing the piano. Oh. Like hidden talent. Fun fact. I might be blowing his spot right now. Fun fact. But uh, yeah, we were at an event in West Virginia and just at like seven o'clock in the morning started playing the piano. Okay. Pissing people off, but it was really beautiful. Yeah. He's really, really good at Those yeah. Canadians are crazy. He's good at everything. Crazy cool. Yeah. He's a good rock some... climber. He flashed, he flashed Anatopsis. What? Back for the Rocktober trip. Rock trip. Jeez, which dude. is like... That's gnarly. That's it. That bro's fit. Sure. Yeah. Strong boy. Nice. Yeah. Shouts from Pueblo. I'm Hi. assuming that's Pueblo, Colorado. 
Encino. Or New Mexico, maybe. I don't know. Bruno, just just going hard here. Bruno Linder climbing. What do you think about Woods? I'm assuming Daniel Woods. Daniel Woods. Yeah. Daniel, Not his sister, Amanda Woods. Daniel's strong. Yeah. He's good at crimping and doing hard. Daniel is strong. Well, there's some routes. Have yeah. you climbed with Daniel much? Um, very little. He's a machine. A little bit here and there. A straight, straight machine. He's, uh, he's really good. And he's a homie. And homie, he's homie. mellow. Yep. He's mellow. Yep. Got That's the why he's on mellow. The neck tap. You see the neck tap? <laughs> yeah. I think neck everybody tap. saw the neck tap. I saw the neck tap. <laughs> Uh, Rock Gal 11. What up, Rock Gal? Uh, best place in the world, Drew Mac. My favorite, uh, Barcelona, maybe. Oh, shit. Uh, Didn't say the red. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, Barcelona. There's like the ocean. There's uh, <laughs> amazing rock climbing. Spanish the city. girls. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's it always gets me to blush. Uh, you get me to blush so easily, Paul. Yeah, it's not hard to do. I get. Well, what about the climbing? So yeah, I said that. That was what I listened to. I didn't second. hear that. I heard girls and paella. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Wine. No, Anyways, the climbing's incredible. Thanks, I spent a lot of time girl. With Liliana. Oh, yeah, that was it's insane. So, so good. Rodeo, I haven't made it there yet. What's I haven't that either. like? I haven't been to Rodeo. Those arches? Come I, on. Need, I need to. Yeah, I need to. Looks like. Looks fake. You been it's there, crazy. Daniel? No. Doesn't. We're gonna go. Okay. We're gonna go. Yeah, we're Link gonna up go. with Guida we'll, we'll Photography. Go. Get yeah. it done. Get those arch photos. Uh, Taicho Siedler. Siedler. Taicho, what up? Uh, Sour Skittles. Sour Skittles. Uh, sure. Sure. Why not? Yeah. Definitely. Drew's not. into. Drew's into it. Whatever. Bring me some. Metal Map 408. Ass. Yes. Oh yeah, beast. What's the secret to ironclad crimps? What's secret to the crimping. Secret to crimping. It's a great um, question. I say clothes. Yeah. But I'm, that's I'm a Colorado bro, so. You're I like you know, I like a half crimp and then uh <laughs> You like youth team open hand, no <laughs> pinky. <laughs> the, the, the pinky dry. You always have to leave the pinky up, you know, like you're drinking no. Um I don't You don't know. close? I, I close. Okay. Yeah. Close, I close crimping, bro. Close crimping. Yeah. We, yeah. That'll make you strong. Be careful, though. Don't hurt your fingers like this guy. I it was overused, bro. Overused. Yeah. You know better. I know better. <laughs> Slight finger injury right now. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Sino says, currently watching the Donwall. Okay. Sick. It's a great movie. Multitasking, I'm assuming. Incredible. <laughs> Because they're watching this and the Don Wall. Yep. Colin Films. Have you ever been to Black Mountain? Great question. Horse Flats or Bishop? I haven't been to the first two, but I went to Bishop this winter. Yeah, buddy. Bishop was incredible. So, yeah, tell us a little bit about your Bishop trip. Bishop, uh, I had never been there before. I went with just some homies over Christmas and New Year's, yep. uh, which was super fun. Um, you know, get to see a lot of people. Um, share a lot of beta, have a lot of pads. Yeah. Um, get some digits. <laughs> get out of here. Um, we're talking about rock. Talking about Vigre. We talking about rock. Line. Oh, digits. Oh, this guy. This guy. This guy. Always thinking about the girls. Before yeah, man. Course. I did. Uh, I did a lot of things. I was really psyched about. I did. Uh, I did Maze of Death in a session. Yeah, buddy. Which uh, was I was really proud about. But then, like, That'd I mean, cool. Evolution, Seven Spanish Angels, those yeah. are, like, the two best bullet problems I've ever done in the world. Were you there? In the world. You know what's funny about Seven Spanish Angels is 15 years ago, nobody was ever back there. Really? Ever. It's... And I always thought, man. Unreal. Our crew was always thinking, man, this is a really good boulder, but yeah. I guess, I guess I not, because nobody's there. I did this FA. Nobody's ever done it. It's, it's called, like, the Iron Man or something. Is what oh, I yeah. 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 yeah, nobody's even nobody's seen that one seen before. It. Yeah. Sick, Iron Man. <laughs> uh, what was the... So, did, were you there pre or post-break Mandala? Post-break. Mm. I didn't climb on it because it had broken. Yeah. But then I guess somebody did it. Like, I'm sure right it at still the end of my goes, trip. but yeah. probably not as, as amazing as it yeah. once was. I should have tried it. Such a bummer. Really? Yeah. yeah. They still, still 8A+. Looked heinous, though. 
Yeah, that's a bummer. Looks narnar. Just a lot of history with that boulder. So much history 100%. in Bishop, you know? It's insane. From Dale Bard and the squad way, 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 way back yeah. to, yeah. you know... I mean, that whole Jason area. Jason Kale yeah, to Chris Sharma. Beyond rock climbing as well, the history of, you know... Evolution yeah. was so yeah. far ahead of its time, yeah. really. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's so crazy. Did you, you just went to the lip on that? Just went to the lip. Yeah, I didn't. Do, really? I know. A I know. Climber, I right? know, man. I just Top didn't. It, uh, I. It was part of a bigger trip because then I went to Waco right after. Oh yeah. So I didn't That's do right. anything big, knowing I was gonna have a month in Waco. Yeah. And I didn't want to be hurt before Waco. And you did Crown. I did Crown. What'd you think? About Amazing. Crown. Yeah, it's it it incredible. Uh, I really liked it. Fred Nicole. It's a low mega ball, classic. low ballish uh, crimp traverse. Yeah. Um, it fit me well with like the endurance aspect of it, um, but uh, yeah, it taught me a lot. You know, keeping like there's these toe hook moves that I just like neglected, yeah. and I would fall uh, because I didn't like focus sure, on sure. focus in on the, the easier moves, I guess. So yeah, I really I really had fun. Do you feel Do you feel like check the video? On yeah, Instagram. It's sick. I'm and wearing an, like an extra extra large. Space Jam T-shirt. Sick. I bought it at Savers oh, the day that. before. I remember that. For a dollar fifty. Steel. And sponsored by Space Jam. Spa Space Jam. So and Monsters. Power Company Climbing did a pretty good little yeah. deal on oh, it. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I had uh, it was cool to do like we did a little interview and talked about it and then the process had the, the in, in, in it. Do you feel yeah. like bouldering has helped your sport climbing at all? Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Um, I'm trying to do, you know, one big boulder trip a year. And, uh, there you go, bro. And, uh, I've always... Now you've seen the light. Yeah. I mean, I grew up in the red, man. Like, you can yeah. climb so hard there without climbing hard boulders. <laughs> it's like what it is. Yeah, it's fitness. But I'm uh, I'm working. I'm trying to get better. Sick. I'm always trying to get better. Who are your... Speaking of sport climbing, who are your early inspirations? Oh, man. You know, the Chris Sharma guy. That guy. Yep. He's a uh, good one. Good one. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan Segrist, Joe Kinder. Um, you know. Samples? Yeah. Grab one. Have you heard, uh, how about Mike Doyle? Mike Doyle. Yeah. Legend. Legend. He came, he did the first ascent of Lucifer in he the red. Comes the, he comes to the red. Yeah. He was there last season. <laughs> yep. That bro's got some last enduro. Ball. Yeah. Talk Strong. about Canadian. Strong boy. Mega bro. Yeah. I want his biceps. He's strong. He's got big, big arms. So, what was, I think every climber has kind of a, a moment where they realize, wow, I really want to be a sport climber or a boulder, or, or there's a specific climb or footage or photo that they see mm -hmm. that gets them fully ramped and it just sticks with them from the get. Yeah. Give me one. Um, what was yours? Was it Sharma, Necessary Evil? Was it um, somebody at the red? I grew up like watching the dosage, dosage films, nice, um, and then like King Lines and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I mean Chris Sharma and Senalino was always like super special. Nice. Um, Good one. Yeah, kind of seminal mean, moment for you watching that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, those were those were yeah. Yeah, those were cool. Got you sick. Oh my god, yeah. But then, I mean, the Pencil Rock trip came to the red. Oh, nice. Um, and that was like my home turf. So yeah. to see those guys, see those, like the 50 Words for Pump video, the Brad Weaver video at Spencer Victory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Red. That was a good one. Incredible. Nice. Um, those those videos were like, oh my god. Every day after school, I'd come home and watch Brad. Watch Joseph Five or YouTube videos. Did you guys have a gym when you were growing when you we had, first started uh, climbing? Yeah, Rock Sport. Rock okay. Sport climbing and. Um, in uh, in Louisville, Kentucky. Sick. Um, shout outs there. Unfortunately, the owner of that gym just passed away oh, two man. weeks ago, um, which was Sorry, really brother. really hardcore. Rest in peace. Yeah, yeah. Le Rob Butch. Yeah. Legacies live on when you say the name. Probably. Probably ahead of his time, right? Down yeah, he started time. started you know first climbing gym in Kentucky in the nineties, early nineties <laughs> really? before I was born. I didn't realize that was. Um, yeah, he used to let Yami create a community and a place for climbers yeah. to grow and uh, find climbing for uh, amazing for an, a long, long, long time. So, so is that thank you, Rob. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah. 
Yeah, shouts to Rob and the squad down there. Yep. I mean, we got Drew Mack out of that, so yeah. that's what's up. <laughs> I was asking John Cardwell yeah. yesterday about this. Did you, were you at all attracted to team sports or anything else yeah. when you first got into climbing? Um, I played basketball for a really long oh, time. Okay. Yeah, I can ball, ball out. <laughs> um, John, John's been hooping. John, John and Ethan Pringle yeah, yeah. are trying to like get a little pro squad. Um, um, no, I played, that. I played basketball for a really, really long time. Um, and did the whole AAU travel team. Wow. Um, yeah, I loved it. Uh, and then as I started like climbing more, I stopped playing basketball. Um, yeah. And spent more time climbing. So you're able to work with a team. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that's teamwork. Good. Yeah. That's good. For I'm a climber, that's pretty good. I'm a team player. Yeah. I try to be. That could be why everybody loves you so much, you Mac. I, I mean, that would be that would be great. Your b ball skills. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit about and hand this over to you. Okay. Our new alcohol-free secret stuff. Perfect. Here at the trade show, we're releasing the alcohol-free secret stuff at Friction Labs, and it is, is no a, alcohol in it. No alcohol at all. It's a yep. liquid chalk gel. It takes a lot longer to dry. Yep. It takes about 90 seconds, but it's this amazing base layer. So it stays on longer. Clean, dry hands. Pop it on before you even chalk up, before you start yeah. climbing, anything. Yeah. So it's, we're encouraging, I would say, a change in behavior. Yep. I don't necessarily think about how I chalk up, but with this product, I'm starting to. So. Okay. Let us know what you think, dude. Awesome. We'll do it. It'll Obviously, help me uh, mass. We'll I, uh, up with I got the sweaty Kentucky mitts, so yeah, I need... Yeah, you uh, never know with the humidity and such yeah. uh, or the conditions, but yeah, give it a shot as a base layer. You can use it, obviously, with any of the other... Great. You're a Bam Bam guy, right? I'm a Bam Bam yeah. guy. So you can use it with Bam Bam, no worries. You can even use it with the alcohol uh, infused secret stuff as well. Oh, okay. So cool. it's, it's all good. Yeah. It's just a really nice base layer. I, We've all end up using a lot less chalk because of it. Cool. Which, although we're a chalk company, that's what we're trying to encourage. You know, we yep. we we're, we came out with a, a super pure chalk so that uh, it would be much healthier on your skin. It would last longer. Yep. And, and it ultimately, works. so you can yep. send as yep. a climber. Yep. And also, you know, as we progress, hopefully we have to start using less chalk, less caked holds yep. on the chalk, yeah, less exactly. chalk dust, et cetera, et cetera. Brush your holds. So that's what's up. Keep brushing them. Um, so, yeah, no, it's huge, especially for like a lot of the climbs I want to do in the red. You might have 30 to 40 moves in a exactly. row where you're like not able you can't, to stop. Can't chill. You know, you're like continu very continuous. So having... Uh, Having something like this will be really helpful. Nice, for me. dude. Yeah. Have definitely. you ever found any place like the Red anywhere else you climb in the world? Uh, no. It's uh, the fitness. I forget how bumpy the Red is. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, it's uh, even on a 60 foot route, you'll get so flamed because yeah. of how continuous it is. Yeah. You know? That style's um, crazy. You get more pumped on 60 feet than 100 feet in Spain, <laughs> you know? It's, uh, it's incredible. That continuous style seems so unique. Yeah. For that, yeah. that continuous yeah. movement. It's, a, it's, all, it's so much about like using as little energy as possible yeah. uh, so that you can get to the top, you know? Speaking of Mike Doyle, I remember watching him in the mother load, and he was, it took him 45 minutes, but he onsided one of the 13Ds in there. Yeah, sick. It was insane. And there's no knee bars, no like no. nothing. You would You're make, just shaking out. Make two or three moves and then you chill. Yeah. Just was up there for so long. Yep. But on site, crazy Get. approach. I've never seen that type of Get calm. patience. It's hard on a route. Before. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> it, mentally, it's difficult to be like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna chill here for a moment. Is that is that kind of is that strange to switch from that style when you go to a different crag? Do you have to? Yeah, everywhere I go is, you know, everywhere you go is different, and I'm a climber who likes or needs to spend kind of a significant amount of time somewhere so that I can yeah. adjust, adjust to yeah. it. Um, you know, especially growing up in the red, when I go to limestone, there's a steep learning curve, you know? Sure. I feel like I get my butt kicked for like yeah. a week or so, and then I can kind of turn it around. Um, That's cool. Yeah, That's cool. Like, the feet are huge in the red. You have massive feet. <laughs> So everywhere I go, I have to That's I have funny. to remember to like push 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 on my toes. If so, uh, this is a question I like to ask the 
Squad, what if there's only one crag in the world that you were you could climb out the rest of your life? Yeah. All, all the crags disappeared. Okay. Where, where would it be? Oh man, that's a hard one. That's uh, right, Doc. Like the whole area or crag and yeah, like for me it'd be fine. Okay. I mean, if that's all that was left. I'd be totally content just climbing and falling. Are we talking like in a perfect world where the weather's like great every day, or are we like the same weather that same is conditions? Like Oleana. Nice, dude. Yeah, Oleana. Just because that that's gives me the most amount of also like culture upward rise and hard hard climbs as well. Yeah, there's like enough yeah. hard hard things to do for a lifetime. Nice. Yeah. A lot of climber girls down there. But it would, yeah, that would, all of that. <laughs> but it would, but lots of hard routes is what he was saying as well. Chica, I ever had it. Chica Bonita. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing sure, so you're much? You're making me uncomfortable. Sure, I'm trying to make you red, dude. All um, right, let's get some uh, yeah. more questions. Shout out to my mama. Metal Matt says, all the spray. You got it, bro. We're here to spray for you. No, I'm not sure what we're spraying about. I think we're just giving you a crimp. Uh, we're just giving you tips on crimping, dog. You don't have tips. to come at us like that. Let's see. Any other questions? Feel free to chime on in. We got Rock Gal 11. She's back. Yo. And she says, "What's up from Washington D.C.?" Oh, cool. I haven't. I haven't been there. I need. To, I would like to. D.C. Bros. Yeah. Uh, shouts from Reno. What up, Reno? Reno. Uh, I've been. Uh, Reno's cool. Have you I'm climbed? Named Wayne lives there. Speaking of Reno, for whatever reason, that reminds me of. Even though it's not that close, it reminds me of limestone climbing in Nevada. In general. So. I been. I went to Potosi. Potosi. I went to Potosi with Jay. Was that your jam? Um, that's a lot of pockets, bro. A lot, a lot of, a lot of pockets. Uh, yeah, it was fun. Like, there's things that don't have a million pockets too, you know. But uh, yeah, that was really fun. I only got to spend two days there, uh, like kind of passing through. Yeah. Um, but I'd love Pretty to go cool back. Crack. to Charleston. Yeah, I think you. Would I mean, really... that's like the cracks of the '90s. What's crazy you... is like. Yeah. Oh, dude. It's so uh, there's so Stat. many hard, hard sport climbs in, in Nevada that. Well, Nobody even knows about we them. had so many OGs back then developing. OGs, OGs. Okay, so we got yeah. we had Dan McQuaid develop a lot of yeah. Charleston. Yeah. We had Randy Levitt, who's here at the yeah. show, uh, who'll try to get on camera later, developed a lot of Charleston and VRG yep. and Clark. Yep. And then Sean you know Clark. one of the main one of the main bros back in the day was uh, Joe Brooks, and Joe he's Brooks. really the one that developed yep. Potosi. Yep. He built the trails. Yep. He worked with BLM yep. for parking issues, uh, and he's really one that developed that crag. Yep. And then you got Andy Rather. Kind and of then more. Andy, who's still holding it down. Also, and yep. you know he loves Potosi, he loves yep. Charleston, yep. he loves Clark. Yep. He's got a gym out there now. So yep. yeah, so much limestone. So much. Gorilla Cliffs is another cool it's zone. Really Black yep. and tan. Yep. I think you should. Oh yeah. Consider putting on your list. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. So much good, so much good stone lots, out lots, there. Lots to do. There's so many places to go. Let's see. Taicho asks, "Ever been up and around Tahoe?" Um, Great question. Just, just to Reno for climbing. Not to Tahoe. No, oh, okay. I, I, I would really like to. The boulders look amazing. Um, yeah, I, I need to. Tahoe is really pretty. Yeah. The granite it's is beautiful. It's good. It's real tight. Kind of tight, big grain yep. granite climbing. Yep. Kind of Cali style, so it's body position type stuff. But there's a few good positive hold type climbing. We can get some crimps. Yeah. There's um, there, that's there too. No, 100%. No, it looks amazing. I gotta go. Uh, Saif Khan asks, uh, How are you guys? How are we doing? Um, How you doing, Drew? Great. Super great. First day at OR for me. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'm having fun. Look forward to seeing a lot of people. We're gonna hang out with Drizzle. Let's give out some shout outs to who's, who's supporting you these days besides Friction Labs. Um, Adidas, uh, Terex, uh, for clothing. Uh, I work with Evolve. Um, nice. I work with Petzl. I work with Kinetic. Petzl? Uh, shout out to Adam Peters. Adam Peters is the man. Yeah. Love that guy. Yeah, buddy. Um, yeah, Kinetic Crash Pads is a new nice. company that I started working with. Caesar and John over there, yeah, super nice dudes. They're great. Really cool. 
like Alpine crash pads. Mm -hmm. uh, they're they're great. They're oh. awesome. Um, yeah, and then some hometown. Uh, dry Point, Rhino Skin, Pizza, you got a Red pizza. River Rock House. Nope. You got a pizza I'm not a Miguel's there? guy. Uh, I'm a I'm a Red River Rock oh, House. Oh damn! Yeah, I know. There's some. <laughs> Shout out to Mark Dario. Love you guys, Miguel. I do love you guys. I grew there you up, go. I grew, there up you in, go. I grew up in Miguel's, uh, but no I, bad vibes. I just... eat the I eat the Rock House food. Yeah, the Rock House. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shouts yeah. to everyone down yeah. there. For Kentucky the food sponsorship. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Colin Film says, thank you guys, no worries, dude. Uh, let's see. What system do you use for ratings, English or French? That um, looks like Sino, who is French, I'm assuming. Yeah. That's I a great question. Say if I'm in the United States, I try to use the, the so many decimal YDS. system. And then if I'm in Europe, I'll try to, you know... Keep it real. Keep it with the, yeah, with the, what's going on there. The 8A's? Every once in a while, people will, like, say, yeah, 8A, 8B, whatever. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you can, I, I switch it up a little bit. Mix it up. I'm happy at this point, I just know them both. It's, yeah. I know them. I don't have to, like. You don't have to look it up. Look no, the conversion normally, chart up. normally it's, like, you have a starting point. You know, 8A is 13B, mm -hmm. and then I have to, like, work from there. Yeah. But now I can kind of. I got them locked in a little How bit. How about your boulder grades, bro? You got your boulder grades? I got my boulder grades pretty locked in. Okay. Somewhat. Um, 8C, give, give it to me. 15. Nice, dude. B15. Okay. Yeah, that okay. was quick. Okay. I know what's He's up. He's been bouldering, apparently. Something like that. Crazy crazy little Red Bull says, hello. Good morning. Hello. What up? Hi. What up, crazy little Red Bull? Rock Good morning. Gal says, hello. What's up got from shouts, Vegas? Shouts from Vegas. Real rock girl. What's up? What up, Vegas? And some I got a car wreck from... in Vegas. First day in Vegas last year. In between Bishop and Waco. Checking out some. Got slammed. I was in the passenger seat. Not fun. You alright? Yeah, that was, okay? was good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was good. Not not okay, a big looking deal. looking for the casino? Uh no. What were you doing? We were driving to the hotel, man. I'm trying to get Distracted some. Distracted drivers. We were totally fine. <laughs> Ellis climbs. Oh, nice. Shouts from Liverpool, right on. Wow, cool. What up, Liverpool UK crew? Long, long way away. Yeah. This guy's got a, this guy's got a check. Is they got a check? That's John John. John John throws. What's up, John? He is uh, one of our newest team members. Cool. What's up, John? And he is an Olympic shot put. Oh, word. Thrower. Whoa. Yeah. How far can you throw it? <laughs> Real far, dude. Real He's far. Going to the Olympics. <laughs> Super homie, shot to John John. Thanks for tuning in. Do you know how much a, a shot put ball weighs thing? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, John John, help us out. John, throw in, uh, how much does a shot put weigh? We'd love to know so we can let the world know. Yeah. Yeah, definitely give John John throws, John Jones throws. John Jones. John Jones throws uh, a follow on Instagram. Pretty rad watching him. He uses, uh, he uses grill grip and bam bam. To oh, to throw grip. the. Yeah. Oh, grip that the, makes sense. Grip the shot put. Yeah. Pretty sick. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. So let's wrap up the interview here, my dude. Uh, what's next for you? Tell us um, what's next. Where yeah, are you so, headed? What's your next project? Um, I'm going to Rifle right after this. Um, kind of check out some other some projects okay. there. And then I'll be in Wyoming for the month of July. Nice. Um, yeah, doing the whole, I'm going to go oh. to Ten Sleep for the first time. Oh, Lander yeah. Festival. Yeah. Hang out with Chris Hampton. Shout ICF. out to Power Company Climbing. Yeah, buddy. Um, do a little bit of training with Chris. Cool. Try to get better. I want Chris to just tell me what I'm doing wrong. Okay. You know, tell me where I'm weak. Chris is an old Assess homie. my weaknesses. He's yeah. been around for a while. Yep. He used to go as O-Dub. O-Dub. Have yeah. you heard any of his raps? Oh, yeah, dude. Okay. I grew up. Listening I'm sure, you're, I'm sure that's where you Chris gave me the best birthday present of my life. Have you heard this story? No. On my twentieth birthday, we went and saw he bought me tickets to see Nos oh, in, sick. in Detroit sick. perform Illmatic for the twentieth year anniversary. Rad. It came out the year I was born. It's my favorite album. That's cool. He bought both of us tickets and we drove up. Amazing. Saw the show. Amazing. How incredible. was that? Incredible. Rad. Yeah. It was my first show at rap show I'd ever been to. <laughs> it was insane. It's all downhill from That's there. That's real right That's there. 
real deal. It's a real deal. Sick. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Chris. Super cool. What are yeah. you going to try at Rifle? What do you got your sights on? Um, last year I tried like Fat Camp a little bit. Okay. Fat Girls Club. Um, some of those Wake Up Cave routes uh, I'd really like to spend some time on. Nice, uh, dude. I tried, tried to do some of those. Um, and then I really want to go to Crypt tonight. Uh, there you go. There uh, you go. Now Solitude. you're talking. Yep. That's some uh, serious rock climbing. That right thing there. is real deal. I haven't climbed on it yet, but I want to go. I want to go try Speaking it. Speaking to your boy, Tommy Caldwell. It's, uh, yeah, legendary route. Legendary. Um, yeah, so I got I to gotta get up there. Get her done, dog. Fortress of Solitude. Spend some time alone. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Good luck up there. Thank you so much. And Rifle. Good Appreciate luck in it. Wyoming. Thank you for all the support. Let's, love. Try, let's try to link up and climb while you're around. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, let's get up to the park. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in with Drew Mac Attack. Please sure make sure to give him a follow. Yeah. At Drew Mac. Five. Five. D R U M E C K five. At Drew Mac five. Verify? Uh no. Not verified. <laughs> Called out. Thanks. Uh let's see. Last One question. Day. This is from oh, crazy little Red Bull again. She says, if you ever come to Spokane, check out the blockyard. We'll do that. Yeah, crazy we will. 100 percent Red Bull. And uh, John Jones. He may have bailed already. Anyways, thanks everybody Thank for you. tuning in. Yeah. Uh, we will be back shortly Enjoy. from the Outdoor Retail Trade Show. Peace. Woo. Yeah, buddy. <laughs>